perfect world, our dogs, cats, or other pets would live long and healthy lives, free of serious medical issues or birth defects. Unfortunately, our innocent little animal friends don't always live out trouble-free lives, and the most we can ever do is help them cope with their issues as comfortably as possible. When workers at a Washington animal rescue learned about a German Shepherd puppy named Logan's serious medical issue, they knew without a quick intervention he wouldn't live much longer. So his foster caregiver did something quite unconventional to bring up his morale and give him a chance. Everyone at the Washington Animal Rescue loved Logan, a German Shepherd puppy who stole their hearts with his cuteness. It wasn't just the employees at the rescue shelter who loved him either. He was a popular guy all over town as well. When workers from the shelter took him out for walks, kids and adults alike stopped to shower him with love. There really was no other dog like Logan. Every so often, just like with every other animal at the shelter, Logan would receive checkups to ensure he was healthy. During one of his examinations, however, Logan's results revealed a heartbreaking truth. It turned out Logan had a severe heart defect, and without immediate help, he wouldn't survive much longer. The animal rescue didn't have the means to help, so Logan was sent off in the hopes someone else could. The puppy was sent to a place called Rescue Hearts Northwest in Ferndale, Washington. The doctors there had plenty of experience with emergency medical procedures, and they could administer the appropriate tests. Shortly after arriving, Logan was placed under anesthesia to figure out the full extent of his heart issue. Logan's echocardiogram showed two faulty valves. Saving the pup's life wasn't going to be easy. You see, Logan's caregiver, Lindy Sains, was told he had anywhere from one month to one year left if his valves weren't fixed. This heartbreaking news kickstarted a mission in Lindy's life show Logan as much of the world as possible prior to his surgery. Lindy took him all over Washington to visit state parks and run around through all the gorgeous scenery. Just like at his original rescue shelter, Logan met lots of people on his trips who were smitten with the little guy. Traveling with Logan wasn't the only thing Lindy did to raise the pup's spirits. She made sure to buy him whatever doggy toys he set his eyes on when they went shopping. Plus, that still wasn't the best thing of all. Lindy made sure Logan ate whatever his little puppy heart desired. No more kibbles for this guy. Logan feasted on delicious human food like cheeseburgers and ate cups of ice cream for dessert. Logan's story started spreading quickly. People couldn't help but fall in love with the little puppy whose life was at risk. Logan and Lindy were even invited onto a daytime talk show to discuss his new adventurous life. This broadcasted Logan's story to everyone watching, and suddenly people from all over wanted to help in any way they could. So Lindy came up with a unique idea she thought Logan would love. She created a Facebook event called Hugs for Logan where people could not only meet the precious pup, but have their photos taken with him and shower him with hugs. Lindy figured all the emotional support and positive energy would do Logan wonders. The turnout was incredible. The original goal was to land Logan a minimum of 100 hugs. But when over 200 people showed up with outstretched arms to cradle the pup, Lindy was blown away. Not only did fans from around the area show up to offer their energy and support, but some actually made the drive over state lines to see him. This couple made the trek from Oregon to cuddle the pooch. The event was incredible, but not as incredible as what happened next. Rescue Hearts received an email from a doctor named Brian Skanson from Colorado State University Veterinary Teaching Hospital, saying he could, in fact, fix Logan's defective heart valve if they could get the dog to Colorado. Rescue Hearts miraculously raised enough money quickly to fly Logan out along with Lindy. The team at the university's veterinary hospital was fantastic, but they ran into a huge problem. They couldn't get the catheter to fit into Logan's defective valve. The puppy would have to wait. A GoFundMe page was created for Logan with a goal of $60,000 for the intensive surgery. Just over $45,000 was raised, and after several months of anxious waiting, Logan finally went in for his open-heart surgery. Well, everyone, especially Lindy, held their breath. A talented team of doctors worked for hours to repair three different defects. Heartbreakingly, however, they couldn't safely remove him from the heart-lung machine afterward, and Logan passed away after the surgery was complete. As you can imagine, Lindy, the Rescue Arts employee, and everyone else who followed Logan on his journey were devastated. 
But the doctors did everything they could, and for that, his loyal supporters could remain thankful. Please share this with your friends and family.